Populism is a challenge to democracy because it asks us to take seriously democracy, which is about the people. And we've not always found the proper ways of engaging people in our democratic processes. And so there's a, there's a, there's a functional challenge, a, a proper challenge, which is to ensure the representativeness of the, uh, the bodies that the institutions themselves are able to um, uh, be nimble enough to change as needed. And the, um, the ideas by which we make decisions in our institutions also are not just the, the ideas of one class, uh, one small band of the elite. And so it's a positive challenge, a good challenge to democracy in that way. But there's also um, potential that populism could undermine democracy if uh, we lose so much of our connectivity because only some people have the right to participate. Um, we define the people in narrow and narrower ways under a narrow and narrow ethnic uh, identification, then that, of course, will exclude uh, others and exclude the, the, the nuance and the different stories that you need to bring us together as people. So if, if populism um, becomes uh, about only some people's views, and those views are empowering people to put down those who are vulnerable, then that populism presents a negative challenge in that light. And we always have to be attentive to the vulnerable amongst us, even as we are searching for ways to empower the majorities as well.